Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna finish off these CO2 tubes. Now, if you're following along with the CO2 scrubber project, you would know that I've been putting these tubes together. If you want to go check out where I was at last, you can go check out the last video of putting those tubes together. Now, what I need to do now is actually put together the last couple pieces and join the actual two sections together. So, now I want to say sorry up front for the quality of the recordings for some reason the camera reset itself and I had to adjust the settings later on but anyway what we're gonna do is on these tubes at the bottom we're going to install these outlets now the reason that we want to do that is so any of the liquid or the algae can be drained off if I need to and also any of the biomass we can get to come out through that bottom what I'm going to do is use this former gasket sealant, which I'll put around the base of it to actually seal. And I'll also use some silicon later on on the bottom just to double it up to make sure. Now I've got this drill bit, which I'm going to drill out the holes to the exact size. Then all we need to do is add a generous amount of that sealant. And then all I need to do is place it in the right spot. And we've got the nut that'll actually screw onto that thread and I'll use a shifter just to get it tightened down a little bit. Now, you do have to be careful when you're doing something like this because if we over tighten it, we might crack the plastic. So just being gentle enough not to crack it. So now I'm just gonna add some silicon around the base of it. Now that's only just to double up on that protection for the leakage, you know, just to make sure. Now the gasket should do its job properly and we shouldn't have an issue, but just in case, I don't wanna try and fix it later on. And then all I need to do is add silicon around the base of those tubes to add the lid or the top onto that tube bracket that I created. And then after that, I can then silicon the whole bracket into the actual tube itself. And then that completes that whole tube and actually seals it all up. I am also making sure that where the bubbler is and where the tube and the sensor comes out of that top there, they're actually 180 degrees apart. That way there's one less point where any liquid could leak out through a hole. Now I will cap that off later or seal it, but just to make sure I've made them about 180 degrees apart to the opposite side. Now I've replicated the same thing with all four of the tubes. So they're all exactly the same and now I can set them aside to dry. So now that it's all dry, I'm going to add a hose in so I can actually drain off that algae quite easily. It's got a valve on the end of it. So I've got this hose here, which I'm gonna cut all the same length. It doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to add a little bit of length in it so that that way I can actually maneuver it away from the actual unit. Just makes things a little bit easier. Now, once these are all assembled, I'll have four of them exactly the same. I'm going to need to create the box that they're all gonna sit into, which will be coming up soon. I'll also need to do a video on the airline that comes out the top which will then have to then record the air quality of what's gone through the algae so that'll be another video as well this unit's all put together make sure you like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with the algae co2 project thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time